Hi, and welcome to Eden's Work Ethic. My name is Mark, and today we're going to talk about harvesting pickling cucumbers. Uh, welcome also to our small deck garden. As you can see, we got some sunflowers here, cucumbers, which we're going to talk about today, some watermelons, eggplants, cantaloupes, kale, tomatoes, and some pepper plants. Now, if you've never done a garden before, it's important that, you know, in my opinion, to start small. Uh, this is actually the third year that we've done a garden, and actually it's been our most productive year as far as, you know, getting uh, produce. Uh, but let's talk about the cucumbers for a second. If you've never done cucumbers before, this is probably one of the plants that you want to get your uh, get your hands on. Because it actually, you get a lot of production from just a few small plants. Uh, whether you do it by seed or you know whether you go to your local Agway or gardening center and buy a few plants. I actually uh, went to um, Agway and bought just a few vines uh, for a total of three dollars. Uh, now the good thing about cucumbers, uh, pickling cucumbers, is that you can plant a few vines as you can see here fairly close together. We have one, two, three, four and on this side we have uh, about five now, believe it or not, it doesn't affect the quality of the, of the fruit. Uh, it actually produces quite a good uh, amount of cucumbers. So if you've never done gardening before and you want to do something fairly easy that uh, gives you maximum results, I recommend the pickling cucumbers. Uh, make sure you have good soil, put some mineral in your soil, and you know, make sure you have a good amount of soil. That's, that would be the only advice I give. Um, now, we've already gotten about seven pickling cucumbers out of just this small box here. Uh, with plenty more to go. Uh, we're only uh, at the beginning of August. It's probably going to keep producing until about the end of August. Um, so let me show you how you, you basically how you harvest it off the vine. So, you know, ours is a little, a little disorganized here. But, you know, if you look around, you look through, you'll see that they grow, they're growing in various places. Now this, you know, is actually kind of big for a pickle. This is actually a little bigger than I would normally let it grow. Uh, but, you know, but it's still going to taste good nonetheless. So you find where the, where the stem is growing out into the pickle, into the cucumber. And you just want to come here and you want to just cut it off. Uh, now that won't hurt the vine and the pickle will be good to go. Uh, now you can use this in a salad or even just, you know, if you want to really just uh, put it in a pickling jar with, a, with your rind. You just want to kind of scrape off with a knife all the thorns that it grows. It has little thorns that grow all over it. You kind of want to just scrape that off with a knife. You could even do it with your finger. Some are easier than others. This is kind of just flaking off probably because it's really mature. Uh, but sometimes it's, they're kind of hard to get off. You just want to scrape it with a knife before you use it on your salad. You know, otherwise the kids are going to hurt their mouths. Um, so we have one here now. You want to just kind of look around because they can kind of hide sometimes, you know, in various places. We have here this one. This one's kind of ready to go. Uh, I've been keeping an eye on it for a few days. It really hasn't grown much more. So I'm going to assume that that's it for this one. So it's about, now we're up to nine from what we've already harvested. Now we have two more. Let's see if we have any more that are ready to, to harvest. You see we have some here that are still growing. Some smaller ones. Uh, you want to just leave that alone because it's actually going to grow much bigger, especially now that we've taken all the mature ones off. Uh, the, the little ones that haven't grown much, now they're going to start to get more nutrients. And if you see any dead leaves, like here, you kind of just want to cut it off, just throw it out. Now, I'm not an expert gardener, but, you know, I know enough to know that if uh, something is just dying and taking up nutrients, you just kind of want to cut it off and, and, you know, leave the healthy plant, the healthy part of the plant, uh, to absorb all the nutrients from the soil. Uh, let's see if we have any more here. Oh, yeah, we do. We have at least one more here that we're going to harvest. Once again, just want to come up to the, the little attachment here from the main vine and just cut it off just like that. All right. So now we have three more that we'll put in our pickling jar or maybe in our salad. Let's see if we have any more. So you want to look thoroughly. Sometimes they kind of hide because they blend in. Now we have another one here. I'm actually going to leave this one to grow a little bit more as well. Let's see if we have any others. Like I said, they kind of hide a little bit. 
Nope, but I do notice that there's plenty more little ones that are that are just growing and, and waiting for some nutrients. See some dead leaves here, I'm just gonna cut them off. And looks like that's it for now. We're gonna let the rest grow and uh, we'll harvest them at a later time. So like I said before, you know, if you want to do something simple that produces a lot of fruit, uh, where you're, you know, you're not going to need a whole lot of space, but definitely, you know, you need a good amount of space and good soil, I recommend starting with the cucumber. You see, they're easy to harvest, and uh, we've gotten now what? Now we have a total of 10 uh, pickling cucumbers for the season, and we're only about halfway through the season, so I'm expecting to get probably at least 10 more before it's up, and like I said, I, I paid $3 for the, the little vines when they were just seedlings at the local Agway. Um, you can do the same and you'll get a lot of fruit. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and tune into our next video. Until next time, thank you and God bless.